Let's go to Paul Joseph Watson joining us uh, from uh, nearby the Bilderberg Group meeting. He was on site earlier. He's going to go back soon. Uh, but uh, Paul Watson, thanks for joining us. Good to be here, Alex. What did you see in the time after we talked earlier from on site with your live video feed from the time you left? Uh, and just break down overall uh, what you've witnessed uh, today and uh, what you think the most important developments are. Um, what happened after afterwards was uh, basically we just hung around for a little longer. There were groups of young people actually entering the builder the compound, but we guess that it's because they live further down in the area and they had credentials that they were wearing around their neck. They showed to the police and they were let in. Um, then after that, we were just talking to some more people and uh, taking some more photographs. We left and some ways down the road, um, a good probably half a mile down the road, there were more police with dogs. Uh, so it's not just around the hotel itself, it's they're on surrounding roads. Um, as he stated earlier, Luke Radowski and the video is uh, up on Infowars.com, was asked for his passport and they uh, kept his passport for about half an hour before he got it back and basically told him, if, if you don't hand it over, we're going to arrest you. We weren't asked, we went right up to the security point where the barriers were. They didn't ask us for any ID. Um, and at the moment, we're just getting all the high quality photos posted on Infowars and Prison Planet. Well, Paul, uh, you don't know about this yet, but I've got your brother from London, uh, Steve Watson, a master's in political science in his own right. Um, and I point that out because he's, he's, he's one of the smartest people I know, along with Paul, uh, just great researchers. Uh, you're guys I can just call who immediately get it and already have a full spectrum understanding of what's going on. He's doing a report that will go up on Prison Planet. We've got two big things breaking. We've got the agenda of Bilderberg. Uh, from from the mole via Tucker and others, uh, a large part of the agenda. We're trying to get an actual rundown. Sometimes Tucker's even able to get that from his mole, but the mole's got to sneak off site to do it. And that's another thing. You got to follow Tucker some because he's always got people cars following him and spies outside his room. And he was shot at in Portugal. That was reported on by major newspapers uh, in '99. So uh, obviously you're going to go uh, get the latest intel from Tucker. Keep filing reports on that. We've got all of this unfolding. Feel free to do more of the uh, uh, upload videos that you're doing that we have a live link up on Infowars.com of throughout the evening, throughout tomorrow. It officially kicks off tomorrow. But the big news, my friend, is I'm calling for a global protest against the austerity bankers who we know are meeting there at this event, pushing for bigger bailouts, i.e. thefts for them. We know that that is happening. We know they're there trying to start the new war in the Middle East, a wider war. We know they're pushing for Internet censorship. We know their agenda now, a large portion of it. And so we're going to have a massive protest Saturday at noon in St. Moritz, Switzerland. We're calling for the Swiss to come out. The Redcoats aren't coming. The banksters are coming. We're calling for peaceful demonstration. We're calling people to call the media, demand they be there. And for folks from all over Europe... Instead of just protesting at police stations and being water cannoned, peacefully come here and say, there are the criminals. There are the people. A lot of Bilderberg people can't even go because there's indictments out. We'll see if Kissinger shows up. But that's the big announcement. Get it out to everybody. Everybody Twitter it, tweet it. Steve's going to have it out very soon at prisonplanet.com. my room, so. Okay, great. Uh, Aaron, you're now there on with Paul. Paul, what do you make of this announcement that we're going to have this big protest? And then uh, talk about uh, what you make of all this security and everything else that's happening. Well, there, there were about 20 to 25 people there at the time that we went. Um, and to be honest, from what I saw in Spain on the videos last year, uh, and certainly Greece, if you remember Greece and Turkey, there were just mass protests in the streets, hundreds and thousands of people. So we definitely need more people there. Obviously, this is a remote area, um, and it takes a while to drive to from the airport, but... Uh, we definitely need as many people as possible to throw the spotlight on these Bilderberg criminals that are meeting up in the mountains at the moment. Now, Paul, again, I can rant all day and make my points, but uh, we need everybody to get Twitters out, phone calls, news websites. Um, the, the Google search term today, we've got to make it number one, Bilderberg protest. 
two words entered into Google and Yahoo and everywhere else over and over again. Everybody write your own articles. Get global attention onto this Bilderberg protest. You can also reverse it and then say protest Bilderberg. Okay? Uh, Bilderberg Group a lot of times becomes the number one search during this week anyways. So we're going to push it over the edge. It's become the number one search term in the next hour or two. That's how it always works. Bilderberg protest. Protest Bilderberg. Reverse those two. But the first main term we're doing is Bilderberg protest. Put those words in. I'm even doing it myself during the break in the Google box. We need to make that number one in the global call. And I want to make sure I need to call Steve back to make sure in his article that he explains these are the bankers, these are the crooks. Why protest in your capitals? The, your capitals have been bought off by these criminals. Go to where the real scum is this Saturday, high noon. That gives us three days to build up, Paul. That's right. And if you're flying into Zurich Airport, it's about a two and a half hour drive out there. And the scenery is just breathtaking. So uh, even if you don't get anything else out of it, I mean... The place itself is beautiful, and uh, it's just a shame that the people meeting here are not. Well, France, uh, of course, uh, Austria, and Italy are right there. We're talking hours from this. But in the Swiss, and we have a lot of listeners in Switzerland, we're rated as one of the top sites there. Get there. Go there. Go there. It's your right to say no to the criminals. The mafia is meeting. Let the world know we're not putting up with it. A lot of times the mafia hires communists to come out and protest to make folks look bad. Let's have true liberty patriots there explaining who's there. And i got to call Steve back. He's got to make sure in the article we explain these are the people bringing in another wave of economic implosion and global austerity. Paul, video can't capture what you see with your eyes. Any other observations? How were the police's uh, mannerisms? Uh, what was their bearing? Were they robotic or were they looking at you as if you were scum or, or, or were they friendly? They were they were giving us the eyeball, but on the whole, they didn't really harass us at all. They just they let us film, they let us video record. Other people were saying that there were police carrying around guns, but we didn't see any guns. Um, some of them appeared to have some kind of taser device, although that could have just been a, a baton. Now the Swiss were the most heavily armed. Sorry, go ahead. There were other people who were saying that there were... Uh, people in the streets down in the actual town itself because the hotel's up in the hills uh, there were there were secret police walking around asking for people's id uh, that's what that's what the journalists who were already there told us uh, but from what we saw certainly if you compare it to what Charlie Skelton experienced in uh, Greece where he was constantly harassed and arrested and followed around uh, the security and the police were reasonably um kind was in that they didn't harass us or ask for id or anything but of course there's a long way to go yeah in the u.s they did some of that and would try to tell us to turn the cameras off but after we told them we weren't going to do it then they behaved themselves in virginia and it's a shame that the cops are so willing to energetically protect literally a bunch of criminals i mean these people are globalist tyrants and we're streaming video right now from justin tv also of uh, luke talking about uh, how he was um, uh, detained for 40 minutes and had his passport taken. Uh, stay on the line, Paul, but we've got Aaron Dykes there with us. Aaron, what are your observations at the first day, uh, the prelude to the kickoff tomorrow morning of the Global Crime Syndicate meeting? Well, Alex, to start with the literal, I'm literally looking at the, the hotel where the Bilderberg is staying right now from my hotel window, uh, along with these gorgeous mountains. And frankly, like Paul was saying, I'd rather turn my attention to the natural beauty, but we can't ignore what they're doing on this planet and the way they're controlling. Uh, but one major contradiction, I did, in fact, see police with sidearms, and uh, I'm not sure if the security also had them, uh, but I definitely saw pistols. And there was a baton, which may have also been uh, one of those tasing baton devices. Uh, we don't know for but sure. But it's not the usual uh, thing in, in Italy or in Spain or in Greece, where they have submachine guns they shove in your face? No, we haven't seen the submachine gun people here yet. Uh, perhaps, you know, tomorrow could be another day. If they're not there right now, they were not there earlier. Well, I'll say this. I don't have a problem with the cops being like that in Switzerland because the citizens can run around with their fully autos and hand grenades, and they have the lowest crime rate in the world. So I think it's great. More guns, less crime. Uh, other points, Aaron, that are key for folks to know. Well, uh, we're just obviously going to keep an eye on what's going on. Uh, we know the groups they're part of and how their agendas merge. 
Uh, so we're going to have those points come out. As you know, a lot of the talking points have come out from the past years of things they've discussed, and among it are the uh, the Arab Spring and the revolutions in the Middle East. They talked about that at 2010 in Sitka, Spain, and uh, I really expect to see an escalation of that agenda for uh, the rest of this year. Amazing. I want to come back and talk strategy, but in the next 10, 15 minutes, Kurt, that's why we're going into overdrive for internet listeners only at InfoWars.com. Uh, that's why uh, Kurt Nimmo uh, is in there laboring on this big report that uh, we've got the agenda from Tucker's mold. A lot of it's been confirmed by the Swiss papers that confirm they are deciding from their sources who the next IMF head uh, will be. And reportedly they're looking at it being the uh, Mexican uh, um, bankster out of Mexico, the finance minister. Uh, we've also got the fact that they do want to have a larger conflagration, that they are stirring up the war uh, in the Middle East as a political diversion. And they're very upset that Congress is talking about standing up to Obama going to war with UN authority. I mean, it'd be bad if the president did it on his own. It's even worse to do it and say, I have UN authority and not talk to Congress. So that's going on. Uh, their move to go after the alternative media, uh, the fact that they're scared of the alternative media and the awakening to them. We've got a large part of it. Now, Tucker's going to get more uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll have continual coverage here for you, gentlemen. But when we come back, I want to get other key points from you. Then I'll go into the next hour, cover the latest breaking news, take some phone calls and some other news I haven't gotten to yet. But, gentlemen, we're about to go to break. Paul, what are some other tidbits we'll cover on the other side? Well, there are numerous reports that have come out in the past few hours. There's one from Swiss Info. There's another from uh, expatica.com. Of course, Charlie Skelton's put out a report. And most of them are quite generic, downplaying the uh, event. So uh, we can discuss how the media is covering this uh, on the other side. All right, stay there. Stand by. We've got the reporters. We've got the will. We've got the intel. And the big protest is on Saturday, high noon. Two big reports. This is a big deal, folks. We're going to have a global call to confront the actual criminals, not their puppet capitals in Europe, over the austerity. The lion's share of the European tax money and our tax money is going to these criminals. These are the engineers of our pain. And high noon in St. Moritz, Switzerland. If you're in Europe, folks, you need to be there. High noon, get there. That is the protest date. High noon, key Google search term. Google it right now. Put it in over and over again. A Google bomb. Bilderberg protest. And then you can reverse it and search it. Protest Bilderberg. And that will lead them to the protest article that Steve Watson will soon get up at prisonplanet.com. I cannot stress to you how important this is. And soon, Kurt Nimmo will have his exclusive report. This is breaking here uh, with, with more details than we've even given so far on the, the, the first portion of the agenda that we've gotten from a man who 100% has the intel. Uh, so this is huge. Um, going back to Aaron Dykes, Aaron, uh, other points. I mean, this looks like more security, though, with, with, with cameras and a tarp to block the cars and all of this than we've, and, and floodlights than we've seen at previous events. Right. Take, for instance, Canada, where they use the uh, backdoor ramp drop so they could hide a lot of their high-profile people, including, <clears throat> excuse me, including Hillary Clinton. This year, they have the entrance checkpoint where they do the key validation, uh, make sure the people are on the list, and they put up a barrier wall, uh, you know, keeping down the visibility so you can uh, identify or easily take pictures. Then they've got uh, roughly 150 yards, uh, maybe even 200 yards to the main entrance. So it's quite receded. It's covered in trees. And uh, they really made it a challenge to photograph. And this is our back. government representatives violating the Logan Act. Hillary was fined, what was it, 300000 for this back in the uh, mid-'90s. Going and meeting and hiding and then lying and being caught, not wanting the media to cover it, but usually... It's only the alternative media covers it anyways, but I'm looking at these photos. You can get down the road with the uh, Zoom camera, zoom in, and still get shots of them at that checkpoint. There's more than one way to skin a cat uh, in the info war, and we're going to get these videos. They'll undoubtedly also be toddling around uh, in the resort below, and so you know what to do there. We're going to get the video and identify these criminals and, and their activities. Aaron?